Do you need something spooky for your house for Halloween? If you do, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make these creepy little vases. So we're going to take this vase and three more from drab to fab here in just a couple hours. So stay tuned. As you guys can tell, um, here are all the items that are from Goodwill that I picked up for just a few dollars a piece. And then what we're going to use is we're going to use this flat paint here on them and we're going to let it dry for at least 45 minutes in between. Okay, so after I read the instructions, it actually said that you only have to wait a minute between each application. We'll see how it dries and um, I'm definitely going to wait a lot longer than a minute. So first thing we got to do is shake it up. Shake it up for about one to two minutes and then we'll start the application. All right, so this is the first one that we're going to start with. I've laid newspaper all around. So we're just going to place it there. I'm going to do a little test spot on the, so it's pretty black. And we're just going to test it out here. Looks pretty good. Slight thin coat on the front. I'm going to do that all the way around. So just twist it a little. The lighter the better, I think, when it comes to spray painting because we're going to do multiple applications. Okay, so great news. These things do dry super quickly. Um, it's only been probably about 20 minutes and they are completely dry. So let's go ahead and put a second coat on. As you can see, I did go ahead and put on um, some gloves because I found that it was a little bit easier to hold the top of the vase and then spray around it. Um, so definitely grab yourself a pair of gloves for the second coat. So I have my glove on and I have the vase turned upside down and let's just start with our second coat. And then I turned it all the way around once, that way I don't have to worry about getting my fingers um, in the paint. So right now we're on our third and our final coat um, of our creepy little vases. And this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, cover up the bottom. You can see I just took the tag off. And then what I'm going to do, since it's drying so quickly, I'm going to hold it up for a little bit. And then I'm also going to spray the rim here. You can see last time when I sprayed the top of the large vase, um, one coat covered pretty well just along the rim. You know, there's no need to spray inside of it anymore, just the rim so when it sets like this, you can just see the tops all painted. So third coat, let's spray the bottoms and let's spray the rims. 
All right, I just sprayed this bottom. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray these other two rims. That way they can all kind of be drying at the same time. Then I went ahead and moved the large face over. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that rim as well. That way we can just save some time and spray everything at once. At least the rims. This black paint is amazing. It, um, it goes on really good. I'm definitely gonna use this again in future videos. I wanted to show you guys my glove. Um, I'm really glad I decided to put this on. Otherwise, all this black paint would be all over my hands and it would probably stain my manicure too. So definitely make sure to put these gloves on. Okay, so three coats in and they look fabulous. I'm just going to give um, all of these just one more coat. I wanted to show you why. On this one, there's still just a little bit of white you can see right here. Um, so I'm just gonna go over and um, touch them up one more time and then we'll be all done. All right, so we are finally done. As you can see, here is the final product. All of the vases turned out really creepy and really good for Halloween. As you can tell, that 3D rose um, just kind of made the vases, in my opinion. I did end up leaving the red rose on there. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Um, and I'm gonna put these up on my shelf with some cobwebs around them and display them for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time, toodles! Just like I promised, drab to fab, just in time for Halloween.